What is that running along the beach over there? I, I can't tell what that is. There's a couple of things running along the beach. Can you see them? What are those, rabbits? What the heck, squirrels? Hmm, what to check that out. The mystery animals running on the beach this morning. Good Sunday morning, everybody, on this beautiful Veterans Day weekend. It is absolutely gorgeous down here. Can't wait to see you all here tomorrow for our Veterans Day surf fishing event. It's going to be a lot of fun. Come on down. I have details on that in a moment. But there is some awesome fishing going on right now. The long range scene has been absolutely phenomenal. Let's check this water out. A little chilly, even with the chill in the air. It feels like pretty chilly water. Great long range fishing. We have found the yellowfin tuna. Again, we'll have details on that. A little bit of bluefin signal offshore around Tanner and Cortez. We'll follow up on that. Some more great white sea bass action and tremendous halibut action and so much more. It's early Sunday morning, Veterans Day weekend. Thank you all for your service. As we get ready to bring you all the very, very latest, I'll set up for the morning briefing and be at you in another moment. The morning briefing coming at you next. The Polaris Supreme out of Seaport Sport Fishing in San Diego has found the elephant tuna once again on a three-day trip. They traveled 250 miles and encountered wide-open yellowfin tuna. Beautiful grade of fish. Now, this is previous video from when the bite was much closer to San Diego because the Polaris Supreme has not supplied video. This is breaking news. Excellent fishing and the grade of fish is absolutely awesome. 50 to 80 pound yellowfin tuna and just about all you want. On a three-day trip, that means they're going to get one day's fishing and that's it. But it appears that's all they're going to need as it is flat wide open on yellowfin tuna. This is great news if you're on a three or four day trip. Now you have this option available to you with the bluefin tuna out on Tanner Bank not biting right now and the fish that are biting are smaller. Here we go. 250 miles Polaris Supreme back on the yellowfin tuna. Breaking news here on Saturday. <laughs> Good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California on this lovely Sunday morning. It could not be any more gorgeous than it is. It's a little chilly, especially when you're standing here in bare feet and your shorts, but hey, that's a sacrifice I make every single morning to bring you all the very, very latest. And man, do we have a lot to talk about. There is some tremendous fishing going on. We're going to get into it with you in a moment. It is Veterans Day weekend. Thank you all for your service to our great country, the United States of America. And also, happy birthday to the United States Marine Corps. They are always there for us. 249th birthday for the U.S. Marines, and man, we take our hat off. You have all our deep and abiding respect, and more than that, you have our unending gratitude for all you do to keep us free here in the United States of America, and it's only for their sacrifice that I get to be blessed and stand here in front of this beautiful ocean here this morning, this gorgeous sunrise just starting to take place. If you don't mind, hit that like button. We deeply appreciate it when you do that. Also, share these reports with a friend. And of course, subscribe to the Freeman Adventures YouTube channel. Tick that little bell and you will be notified when there is new content. Follow us over there on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Apple Podcast, and Spotify. We deeply appreciate all that you do for Friedman Adventures. We have soared to new heights statistically, and it's all because of each and every one of you. So thank you so much for that. Tomorrow morning, we'll be right here. I'm going to say 6 a.m. will be a good time for you to be here. Now, high tide's at 5.30, but it's still a little dark at 5.30. You show up around 6, 
We'll be here from 6 to 9, maybe even a little past that. So you can show up at any time in there. If you just want to come by, have a cup of coffee and chat with us, you're more than welcome to do that. If you want to do the fishing thing, however, I'd be here at 6. I think 6 would be just about right. And you'll be able to hopefully catch some nice perch, maybe a yellowfin croaker. And John Garma, if he shows up, he'll be throwing a lucky craft and pick off a nice halibut perhaps here in this beautiful surf. Wow. I'm going to say it one more time. It is gorgeous. These fall mornings and sunsets also in the evening are absolutely beautiful. Let's start with long range fishing. The Independence is chugging on down the Baja coast with Kevin Kwan from Young's Fishing Tackle in Bellflower, California. They've been dining on delicious food and getting prepared for the battle. Of course, we'll be leaving a week from Monday and heading out on an eight-day trip. And there's so many great people on that trip. I can't wait to spend eight days with each and every one of you. The long-range scene has been spectacular. First of all, you've got that 30 to 80-pound yellow fan tuna that's been biting for several months. No let up on that. You can normally get limited out on that YFT in one day. It is good. Really, really good. Then you'll get a shot at the Wahoo. The Wahoo at Alijos Rocks has been up and down. No consistency to the bite, but it's been fairly decent. And there's been some awfully good yellowtail fishing on these 8 to 10 day trips also. It's really been fantastic, and I don't know how it can get any better than it is right now. And you got to look over there on the Royal Polaris because the guys from High Fishing Tackle in San Francisco, California, were just on there. And they had all of those species, but they also caught, you know, calico bass, sand bass, halibut, rockfish, big ling cod, like a 30-pound ling on the Royal Polaris. It's been phenomenal fishing. The Independence will be setting up here shortly, getting ready to fish. It should be great. I'll see you all on that eight-day trip. A reminder that we'll be live with Sam De La Torre at Island Fishing Tackle in beautiful Carson, California, tomorrow at 6 p.m. And Sam will talk a lot about the kind of tackle you'll need for a long-range trip. In fact, Sam is going to be on the Royal Star while we're on the Independence. Man, I hear a little competition coming on here. That's going to be really, really cool. And Danny Cadota show live at 4 p.m. tomorrow. It's going to be a very busy Freeman Adventures Day with the surf fishing event here. Then down at 22nd Street Landing for the Danny Cadota show. Then at 6 p.m., with my friend Sam De La Torre over there at Island Fishing Tackle. Be a lot of fun. You can come along with us all the way through that great day. All right, so see you tomorrow morning. Send me a text. If you don't know how to get here, go to Big Fish Bait and Tackle. They'll give you 10% off on your bait and anything else that's not on sale. They've got some great sales going on. So we'll see you all tomorrow. All right, let's keep it in Mexico. And my friend Rudy Morgan down there in Cabo San Lucas, has had a spectacular season this year. They cast a check for over a million bucks for the fourth largest marlin in the Bisbee's tournament, and Rudy has officially won the Cabo Tuna tournament. They also cashed a check in on, while fishing in Laredo earlier this year. Rudy Morgan is a spectacular fisherman, and he's getting better and better and better every single tournament. Way to go, Rudy. Another big day. In fact, the side jackpots yielded on the first day of this most recent tuna tournament out of Cabo over $600,000. He's pushing $2 million in winnings right now. Tremendous. I don't know how. You can beat that way to go, Rudy. In Ensenada, we've seen great rock fishing. That has been the name of the game. The game fisher out of Ensenada. Spectacular. Limited out on the rockfish by 10 a.m. They were all finished up. Really, really great stuff for them. And also, Baja Fishing. Diego Puentes. Check out all the fish. They need a wheelbarrow. They had so much rockfish down there. Really great eating fish. They are biting full speed, and it's been really, really good. It's for real sport fishing. Louis Priato out of Ensenada. He's had some great fishing here recently, as has Ihara, the first lady captain in Ensenada. She's been really doing well on the nice sheephead and whitefish, vermilion rockfish, focaccio, and so much more. Ensenada 
going full crank on the rockfish right now. What I ask you is wrong with that. We were catching good amounts of yellowfin tuna about 10 days ago out of San Diego. Mixed with it was some bluefin tuna. Remember that? Now, the bluefin, while big, didn't want to bite all that well. But they were mixed with that beautiful grade of yellowfin tuna, 30 to 80 pounds. So that fish started biting at about 140 miles, and then it slowly but surely got down there at about 180 miles, and then we lost track of it. That is until yesterday when the Polaris Supreme went down to 250 miles on a three-day trip. That means he ran an entire day to get there, find that fish, and put a hurt on that yellowfin tuna. Tremendous fishing on the yellowfin tuna for the Polaris Supreme. 224 yellowfin tuna in the 30 to 80 pound class. And they had 11 bluefin tuna to go along with it. So that suggests to me this is that same body of fish that is just moving away from the cold water down the Baja Peninsula where the Polaris Supreme encountered its spirit of adventure. And the tax man, Tim Marquez, might as well give him a plug right now. He's on the spirit of adventure on a four day trip and their bow is pointed right at that yellowfin tuna. If you've got tax problems, you can't go on board the Spirit of Adventure right now, but you can give Tim Marquez a call. Do it, and he'll take really great care of you. And for your heating and or air conditioning needs, it is none other than John Lopez at Efficient Heating and Air Conditioning. John, can you bring me a heater right now? It's cold down here on the beach. This dramatic, beautiful sunrise just continues to impress. Check out that ocean. Where's all those pods of dolphin this morning? Hopefully they're going to show up again and treat you to some really beautiful natural views because it was spectacular yesterday. You can see this tide rolling up. So that high tide has already manifested itself. It's going to be receding now and tomorrow morning is going to be a spectacular day. So really great fishing down there at 250 miles. Hopefully Tim Marquez the tax man will be all over that fish. That is going to be spectacular. We take you out now to Tanner and Cortez Bank. From here, about an 80-mile run. I'm in Surfside. I'm talking about San Pedro, Long Beach, Davies Locker, 80, 85-mile run to get you out to Tanner, Cortez. Cherry Bank is west of there, up towards San Nicholas Island, and it also has been producing a few bluefin, but the bluefin bite is definitely down right now. It is not all that great. That's not to say that some guys are getting a little bit of a piece of it, and it's mostly smaller grade fish, like 15 pound bluefin tuna. There's a little bit of that stuff around. There's a little bit of a yellowtail bite also going on on Cortez Bank, where some of the guys are focusing their attention. The old glory on a day and a half trip had 33 yellowtail. I just talked to Max Nui on the Pacifica. Max is running the Pacifica, and he said they had uh, four yellowtail and a mess of bottom grabbers. Nice cod fishing going on in several different areas out there. So the bluefin tuna bite still is not quite where we'd like to see it, but we'll have to wait and see. Monday evening, it's going to blow up. We're going to get some wind in several different areas, even there at the west end of Catalina, but out there on Tanner Cortez by the evening and Tuesday, looks like it's going to be very breezy out there in that neck of the woods as we look ahead for you. We're going to get some wind in the Channel Islands and even down the Baja Coast. We'll be watching that for you very, very closely. The Fury out of Dana Wharf Sport Fishing. 12 bluefin tuna on their most recent trip. Not bad. They have three yellowtail, 34 calico bass, 24 bonita, and a mess of rockfish and whitefish and a partridge in a pear tree. Couldn't resist. We're getting pretty close to Christmas, my corny joke there. So really nice variety. I love that, man. That is some really good stuff. Thunderbird. They fished anywhere from 8 to 70 fathoms of water on their most recent trip. A fathom, by the way, is six feet of water. And they ended up with a couple of yellowtail, a bunch of big bonita, limits of sheephead, limits of reds. So there's some really good fishing going on. You can fill your sacks with the bottom grabbers get a chance at some bluefin, but really tough right now on that. And while there is some yellowtail action going on on Cortez Bank, there's also a lot of boat pressure, so it's hard to get a really big piece of it right now. So kind of down out there in terms of our surface bite, but as evidenced by the Fury and the Thunderbird, they came up with, I mean, just a boatload 
of fish. That's pretty good stuff and really great variety to go along with it. Hey, you know your garage door? Man, it's a pain in the neck. You need to get that fixed. And we've got the guy to fix it for you. He will take care of everything. It's Joe Welker and Welker Garage. Welcome, Joe, to the Friedman Adventures podcast. Thanks for advertising with us. You're going to love Joe. He's a really exceptional human being, and he'll take great care of you. Give Joe a call today. Wow, what a bite at Catalina Island. Now, this is private boat stuff. Sport boats are focused in on the rockfish. At least they were. They might turn their attention to this because Jim Limbacher, on his private boat, his wife Barbara and a bunch of other great people had spectacular halibut fishing yesterday. I mean, it can't get much better than it was. Check out those halibut. It was a phenomenal day there at Catalina Island for Jim and his lucky passengers who were out there enjoying a beautiful fall day. Jim put the herd on the nice halibut. I'm jealous, man. I want one of those steaks, Jim. Shoot that over here to serve side for me. Just kidding. They're going to enjoy some really good eats after a spectacular day on the water. Barbara, Jim, and everybody was on board that one. Congratulations. Down to the Coronado Islands will take you to get you updated out of San Diego. That is in Mexican waters. If you're fishing the Coronado Islands, you're going to need a passport. So make sure you bring that along with you, as well as all the permissions you need to fish in Mexican waters when you're near a landmass. You need to have the bracelet and a lot of other stuff. Anyway. There's not much yellowtail biting there, so maybe you don't want to go there after all. It's been mostly rockfish, seeing some yellows there. Every once in a while, you'll get a bite on them, but it's been tough, so not much. Mostly kind of a bottom kind of bite there. San Clemente Island, sheephead, whitefish, good rockfish. And in the Channel Islands, we kind of hit Catalina. Well, let's talk cat. Um, cat, mostly rockfish for the sport boats. They've been fishing that rockfish, but, you know, you get these fall bites on the halibut sometimes. I suspect we're going to get a halibut or two here in the surf. What did I just see out there? I might have just seen one of our little dolphin friends. Have you been seeing them back there while I've been doing the report? I just saw something pop up out of the water here. So keep your eyes trained on that beautiful ocean of ours. Yeah, those dolphin are back. I just saw one or two pop up. You might see them come through the picture. And when you see that, that's an indicator that there is bait here. There are fish here. And we're going to catch them tomorrow. Catalina Island getting carried away. Once again, it's been really good rockfish. That halibut, though, does show up. The El Patron, the Pursuit have been doing really, really well on the fish out there. Nice big cod. They're really fun to catch. If you want to get on the El Patron, they run out of Long Beach Ford Fishing, and I highly recommend you do it. www.longbeachfordfishing.org. Get on the El Patron and catch some nice big cod while they are biting really great stuff indeed. By the way, the Pursuit's on a special day and a half trip. Right now, they're out there around Tanner and Cortez, and our friend Nick Ramirez is on there, so we'll get a report from Nick when they get back in. Hopefully, they are putting the wood to it. We'll take you to the Channel Islands, where there was some tremendous white sea bass fishing again. And it was Devon, uh, Devon, excuse me, Graham, senior, not junior, Devon was out there on his birthday, and they had a great trip on board the Endeavor out of Ventura Sport Fishing with 37 white sea bass. Tremendous fishing on the white sea bass. I said the other day that it was one fish per rod. Right now, I am wrong. Mark Stringer on Facebook corrected me. Mark, thank you so much. He was very gentle, by the way. It wasn't like, hey, dummy. It's Three fish for Rod right now, not one fish. So it is three fish for Rod. And on his birthday, man, you got to love it, Devon caught limits of white sea bass. That is three fish. Happy birthday. Nice going. They also had 20 fish bag limits of bottom grabbers. You can't beat that. What a bite. Second day in a row that they've had great white sea bass fishing on board the Endeavor up there out of Ventura Sport Fishing. That squid is moving in, and with it, all those predators like sea bass, like halibut, like uh, yellowtail at times. So really great stuff on board the Endeavor. Tremendous rock fishing on the island spirit yesterday. Just about all the boats up in the Channel Islands are experiencing really great fishing with this beautiful weather, and they just keep putting the hammer down on the rock fish. The island spirit limiting out on rockfish. They are out today on a kids fish free day. It should be spectacular on a day like this where it is absolutely 
Beautiful, man. Those delphinas are playing around back there again, and that means they are feeding big time. And you're going to see that tomorrow if you're down here at 6 a.m. If you are a veteran of the United States of America, I am going to make you one of the best breakfast burritos you've ever had. I've already heard from some service guys that are going to be down here tomorrow, and I've told them I'm making your breakfast burrito, so put your order in. you got to let me know ahead of time. If you don't let me know ahead of time, I'll still feed you. I'll figure a way to make it happen. I'll be out shopping today and making sure we take care of our veterans here tomorrow on this Freedman Adventures special day. So really nice fishing going on up there in the Channel Islands. If you'd like to get on board the Island Spirit, you should do it with Captain Daniel Hottaway. He is awesome, does such a great job. You can catch him at VenturaSwordFishing.com or you can give Saul a call at 805-676-3474 and get on board the Island Spirit. You'll have the time of your life. Let's talk the coast half and three-quarter day boats. Some three-quarter day guys are going offshore and fishing for a rockfish. They catch the big ones also, like the freelance around the 14-mile bank or out there around Catalina Island. But mostly, it is rockfish up and down the coast right now as water temperatures are cooler and the surface bite is not manifesting itself. Having said that, they released 100 short sand bass yesterday out of Dana Wars sport fishing on board the Clemente. So you get a little pop of that. You get some twilight bass up there out of Marina Del Rey. And you get the occasional halibut up and down the coast. And man, that Jim Limbacher score really gives us all hope that we're going to have a fall bite on the halibut here. There is still some really good lobster fishing going on out yesterday with wet willy charters, Robert Lopez, and they were pulling hoop nets and really cashing in with some great langosta hoop netting as they limited out on the lobster. Really fantastic stuff. No question about that gorgeous morning here. It can't get any more beautiful than it is. So I got to tell you, man, there's a lot going on. That long range scene, spectacular white sea bass in the Channel Islands. What a hit on the halibut at Catalina Island. The only thing that'll make this any better is a really good surf fishing day tomorrow. And I'll tell you right now, that's already a done deal. We're going to have a good time. Now bundle up. It's cold down here. It's chilly down here. Get some bait. Wintertime bait works best when you're surf fishing. But having said that, throwing a chrome crocodile or using a lucky craft, I think will produce for you tomorrow morning. That is Veterans Day, Monday morning, 6 to 9 a.m. If you are a veteran, you're going to get fed by yours truly. I'm going to make you an extra special breakfast burrito that you are going to love because you deserve it. Happy birthday to the United States Marine, to all our veterans. Thank you for your service here for our great country, the United States of America. And if I don't see you tomorrow morning, and I hope I do, just bring a little chair down here and some coffee and donuts. Let's all share and have a good morning together. Whether you fish or not, you are welcome to join us here. Just send me a text. I'll get you all the details. If I don't see you tomorrow morning, I hope to see you really, really soon. Have a great morning and take care.